Like we need to be like kids. Like kids have like no worry. And they're like, you know, like they find joy in the smallest things. Like we saw a lizard and she was like, so like intrigued by a lizard and you know and like and I was just like you know what like there's there's things that just are out of our control and we can't let that affect our mental space hi I'm Ekli and I'm the editor at the Mescla and I'm here with Iris Palmer she is the owner of Starlash also a beauty guru lifestyle guru mama and she's also social distancing like all of us. And so we're going to talk a little bit about self-care tips and how we're staying sane and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, you were telling us, tell us a little bit about um, how you are managing as being an owner yourself and then also helping other people who are small business owners and dealing with the, the unexpected turmoil. Yeah, I feel like this is like obviously a scary time for business owners, especially small businesses, because, you know, a lot of people don't think about situations like this. So we might not have money saved. We might, you know, some people might have just started their business and they're like, oh, my God, you know, there's people you go into a lease, you got a five year lease. And now you're thinking, oh, my God, I have my house rent. I have my home rent. I have over 20 K and just rent a month. So now you're like, oh, my, my businesses are shut down. It's, it's a, such a like scary time. But I feel like, you know, this is the time to really have faith um I've like started to reread the bible again um you know this is the time to really pray and just have faith that there is a bigger god you know hopefully god has a better plan you know for us right now and maybe our world needed this maybe we all needed to like slow down um and yeah I'm just I'm just I'm sitting here just trying to figure out ways I'm gonna start teaching um doing videos like on tiktok i just joined tiktok um i'm yeah. the rest of the world has also joined TikTok, <laughs> so many people are now on tiktok, TikTok including including like, okay what can i do other than dances on tiktok so i said yeah. okay this is a perfect time for lash techs who are at home to perfect their skill so i'm gonna start doing videos on like my techniques and just stuff to like help people while they're home other lash artists um for business owners i feel like you know, we're all in the same boat. And I think it's, um, it's knowing that we're all in the same boat, we're all having the same thoughts. Um, and just being hopeful and, you know, praying and hoping for the best, honestly, yeah. that's all, that's all we're doing right now. Like keeps op optimistic. How are you? How are you like staying sane, optimistic, connected, like to the world, but also to your family, because you have a little one and you're like, a teacher now too so how's that going I am yeah I, be, I became a teacher um being a lash tech you're like a therapist you're like like people come into you so you're like multiple multiple roles so I'm mm -hmm. definitely um I've definitely stepped into like teaching I'm just trying to create a, a schedule because it's so easy for us being at home to get lazy to feel not motivated um and I feel like last week I definitely I had that I had that all week I was like I'm just going to be in my pajamas all day. I look crazy. I was like, thank God I have lash extensions. And then I started thinking, oh my God, I should have had, I should have had her add more on my lashes. Like one of my <laughs> lash techs, um, because I don't like my lashes too dark. I don't like it to overpower my face. So I usually get them light, but I'm like, this was the time to really fill my lashes. Like I was like a whole month. So I literally went through all of that last week and then I wasn't working out. I was eating like crazy. And then this week I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get up. I'm going to put my alarm at seven. Usually at 730, I'm, I'm up. I'm always up. So I was like, there's no reason why I should be. I, I was like so tired. I felt like so drowsy. I was in bed till like 11 and I was like depressed. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I was like, literally, this is not, I'm going to get it together. So I woke up 730, put my alarm. Um, honestly, like. I, I have, I've loved that I don't have to normally, like I get my makeup done a lot or like, you know, I have meetings or I have this, the, now that I'm home, I have let like my skin breathe. So I've been doing like a lot of face masks and I've just, I've enjoyed that. And I feel like, because I do have lash extensions, it's so easy to like really not do much. You put a little concealer and you're like good. Um, and yeah, I've been doing, I've been doing that hair mask. I did like an avocado and coconut oil hair mask. Nice. More natural. Um, Stuff. yeah and then I've been I've been a lot on YouTube um trying to figure out how to cook new stuff because I don't normally have the time to cook for my baby so I have been enjoying that I've been cooking crazy stuff um and yeah I'm doing things that I normally wouldn't do which I am I'm enjoying I read I organized everything I literally 
but I, like, I felt like I was pregnant nesting. Like I was organizing everything, taking out so much st stuff that I just normally don't have the time to do. So I'm like thankful for that. Um, but yeah. And then are you staying, are you doing anything to like stay physically active? Um, do you work out from home or anything yeah, like that? I actually started um, going on a run with my boyfriend, actually. We just started running around the neighborhood. Um, and I'm trying to do three, I'm trying to do five miles. That's my goal. But like we started on three. So I'm just doing that. I've, everybody's been challenging me to those push-up challenges. Today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to yeah. it today. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I am definitely trying to, I'm going to try to work out at least three times a week. Good. Yeah, that sounds doable. And then um, and it's good to, it's running is a good way because you could just get some air too, which I feel like helps with your mental health too. Yeah, that part. <laughs> um, mental health, speaking of, is like such a, I think we were talking about this earlier, but like it can be so draining and like easy to get lethargic and, and get like a little bit depressed if especially if it's gloomy it's like super gloomy in New York today I don't know how it is in LA but it's oh, like it's rainy here and I'm like oh, great you you want to add rain to like on top of everything like it's not and, helping yeah so that you know it can be hard and it can affect you and it gets your mental health um how are you like dealing with that if you are um, what are some like self-care ways that you care for your health? Because I feel like it's easy to see when your skin is acting up, but no, sure. your mind, sure. yeah. Know. My mind, that was, I'm telling you, last week I was so stressed out because I feel the pressure of like not only my bills and my, you know, my business shutting down, I feel the pressure of all the girls that work for me. And I'm like, damn, like, how are they going to, how are they going to make money? Like, I know, like, as a business owner, you're always in a better position than your employees, you know? Um, but like, they look at you for stuff like that. And so it was for, I was, it was for sure, like mentally just taking like the biggest toll on me. And then this, this week I started meditating a lot, um, praying a lot. And just like, honestly, I just sit and I, when I like, and I totally disconnect and I'm just with my daughter and I'm just watching her, like kids, like we need to be like kids, like kids have like no worry. And they're like, you know, like they find joy in the smallest things. Like we saw a lizard and she was like, so like intrigued by a lizard and you know and like and I was just like you know what like there's there's things that just are out of our control and we can't let that affect our mental space because if you're mentally in a bad place that's that's worse than physically or anything else like you're it, everything starts with your mind so I've been really just trying to meditate pray um and just have hope just have faith that's awesome do you feel like you are you're doing a good job of disconnecting or do you feel the need to be like hyper connected now that you're not seeing people face to face? Okay. So I was super disconnected last week, like not really posting nothing on my social media. Um, just didn't, honestly, I didn't know what to say and I didn't feel the need to say anything. And I was just like in a confused place. And I was just like, why is all this happening? Like, this is crazy. And then this, this week I was more like, okay, you know what? people do look at me as an influencer and it is my, I have to do my part. You know, I have this platform and I feel like I have to share my thoughts and I have to in some way inspire people. And, you know, we are looking at the news every day and so much negativity that it's like, how can I bring light to the situation? So that's where like I'm at this week where I want to share most of my day. I thought, okay, let me start blogging my quarantine chronicles and what I'm doing, you know, and going on live more. I don't ever really usually go on live. I went on live the other day and just, you know, t showing people that, you know, we're all in this together and just sharing what I'm doing. And hopefully, you know, what I'm doing helps the next person be like, okay, yeah, that's, she's going through the same thing that I'm going through. Right. Right. And that's like the best we can do is be like transparent with our experience. Right. Um, yeah. So, I mean, finally, do you have any tips for people who, like, for creatives who usually work, who don't work from home, don't have that luxury of working from home, of what to, how to best, like, use this time if you are healthy and well at home? I think this is actually the time for, like, creatives and, cre like, creativity to really, like, come alive. Like, this is, like, the time that, like, we have so much time right now. You usually don't have time. Like, sometimes I wish I could I could do more in a day, and I'm like, oh, like, I have to run here. I'm stuck in traffic. I'm, this is the time to sit 
and like really just like think of or if you want this is the time if you wanted to start your own business this is the time to structure it to do a vision board like I'm so big on manifesting um Mm -hmm. everything in my life has came true by a vision board that I did so I'm like this is the time to do a vision board I mean my baby do a vision board um and this is this is our time to really tap into our creative juices and put it all put do as much as you can from home um take you know take meetings on like also too I feel like people think like our world has stopped but a lot of a lot of our world is is through the internet now you know like everything we do is through the internet now so for like for social media influencers this is the time to put out content to keep people entertained this is the 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 time to really tap into into all of that because all we can do is go on the internet right um have you have you found, I know you mentioned earlier that you're going to help people through your social media. Have you found ways to like, or ways that you would tell people at home that they can help out too? Um, I think I've, I've posted like, I posted, I posted a highlight on my page of um, companies and restaurants that are helping with um, people that need food or um, schools or shelters. Like I posted that, I, I kept it so like people could go back and reference if someone is in need of food. Um, I know restaurants are giving you know people um, food and stuff. Um, but one of my friends, Stassi, actually started. Um, um, she started a challenge. It's called Do Your Part Challenge, where she wants to feed like three families, um, and they nominated me to be a part of that challenge. So I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do um, gift cards to, to Target so that you know they can go get whatever they need, um, whatever's left. Uh, I know they're like restocking the stores a lot, but um, yeah, like I obviously want to help as much as I can um, in whatever I can during the situation. I'm glad that you are doing well and keeping sane and like getting to spend time with your little one. I feel like that's kind of priceless. Um, I hope it ends soon though. Um, And yeah, thanks for your tips, super helpful. Yeah, thank you so much for this call, this interaction. (laughs) I'm like, this is like what I'm like, I'm like, yes, I guess I'm like face-to-face, not face-to-face, but Skype-to-Skype interaction. (laughs) This is the closest we'll get for a while. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, do more of that. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Okay. Thank you. We'll talk to you. Bye. Bye.